what it is. Yeah. Yep. Oh, look at that hand. Look at that hand. Good job. Good job, baby. Push. 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 Good job, baby. We're going to leave the baby right here. Oh. What is it? She's calling you, I think. So it's uh, 7.45 on the 25th of September. And uh, just timing contractions. Uh, it's not focusing but i was having some contractions they were like 10 minutes apart lasting like 30 seconds or so um so i started timing them again i don't think it's gonna focus this is them so far so nothing crazy um so we will see i curled my hair because i I'm supposed to go in tomorrow to get induced. So I was like, oh, I'll just do that in the morning. We're supposed to go in at 6 a.m. to go get induced. So the baby might have other plans. I am uh, not sure. <laughs> but um, so I curled my hair real quick, packed my makeup because I figured I'll just do that if we have to go. Um, but yeah, that's, that's the update so far. I got my bag situated got everything tomorrow i'm 40 weeks tomorrow is my due date so um i just like can't imagine these not going anywhere but i could be wrong and i could be picking up the camera in the morning tomorrow and saying just kidding we're going to get induced <laughs> um but i will keep you guys posted on this it like i said it's uh 7 47 right now at night so we will see maybe tonight but kind of nervous i felt like i had to like go number two but we also had chipotle which is like literally the worst thing and i feel like it always makes you do that anyway so it's like is it or not <laughs> anyway i'll keep you guys posted on this so far i haven't had one since i haven't had one since 739 and it's 748 so i'll keep you updated on that one okay, as soon as i turn off the camera I started having one. Mm -mm, no, it's not fun. Mm Keep timing contractions during the frequency contractions do not yet <clears throat> active labor. We recommend that you consult your doctor about the guidelines. Okay. calling because I was curious of um, I'm experiencing contractions I'm supposed to go in tomorrow to um, be induced but my contractions are like averaging about like six minutes apart and like 36 seconds or so and I've had like around four in the past hour I just I'm not sure Okay. doctor are you trying to reach like who do you see in the concern um what is your call regarding i'm gonna put it as um i don't want to say water and labor water broke but it is a question okay so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna flag it as a mer um a medical concern Okay. But, um, that will still make it an emergency and you will get a call back from a provider okay. um, as soon as possible. Okay. So Thank can I get you. your name? Alexis Green. Okay. And Alexis is A L E X I S? Yeah. And green like the color? Yes. Okay. May I have a good phone number for you? <laughs> and um, how many weeks? I'm. Um, 40 tomorrow 
I'm 39 and six days today. And, um, is this your first baby? No, third. May I have your date of birth? Oh man, and your birthday is today. Oh, good. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> we might have birth the same birth. <laughs> it will be close. <laughs> Ooh, your birthday. Oh, that baby about to <laughs> Okay, and just to confirm, you said um, your contractions are six minutes and 30 second, 36 seconds apart. You've had four in the past hour. Yeah, and they last about like 30 minutes or 30 seconds or so. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Have a good day. You too. Congratulations on the baby. Thank you. Bye. Okay, guys, so last time I updated you, we did, I wasn't, they told me, hold, I'm having a contraction currently. <laughs> ah! Um, Last time I talked to you guys, I was on the phone with, um, the triage to decide if I should come in. The doctor called me back, let me know that they think I should come in. Um, so he called me and said, yeah, let's have you come in. It's your third baby, I want you to get epidural and all the things. My husband, of course, is, uh, well, look, as you can see, it says, it says, it's baby time, get ready. Um, so anyway. My husband and I, we had Chipotle for dinner and, or for lunch, and it's just now hitting him. So we're at his office right now, so he can, he was cramping with me basically. But the hospital's like 15 minutes away, so I hope he can like hurry it up, because I'm trying to get some epidural, I'm trying to get the drugs and all the things, so we will see. Um, but yeah, my uh, contractions are, let's see. There's a, they're about six minutes apart. Actually, almost seven minutes apart still. Um, ranging 45 seconds or so. Um, so, yeah, that's where we're at. So, we're gonna go in. Either way, we're gonna check in just because I was gonna get induced tomorrow anyway. So, it just works out that way. So that's what we're gonna do. All right, we're here at the hospital and she's, uh, Definitely in some pain. She got an epidural, thank God. Six centimeters. Six centimeters. Completely thinned out. Completely thinned out. <laughs> now we're just ready for the My baby. My water hasn't broken yet. No. Mm -mm. You feeling a little better now, though? A little, yeah. Yeah. I feel pain on my inside a mm -hmm. mm -hmm. little setup here in the hospital. We got a, they got us a fan just for her. Do you want me to turn the fan on? You have a contraction. Anything you want to say to the camera? No, I can feel it through the epidural, and it's very strange to say. Yeah. I feel like I shouldn't. Well, we'll keep you guys posted. <laughs> Yeah. Can you your face. Your head. I 
find out. Okay. So, uh, Dad, you're going to look and tell us what it is. Yeah. yeah. I am. Oh, look at that hand. Look at that hand. Good job. Good job. Good job, baby. Push. 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 Good job, baby. We're going to leave the baby right here. Oh. What is it? Oh, I can't see. It's a boy. Yeah. A boy. Oh, it's a boy. Oh, Another little boy. Another little boy. Good job, Mom. Good job, Mom. Look who's here, and it's a boy, little Easton, yeah. So, I had no time to film anything besides me pushing for like a second, then I had to turn off the camera, I wasn't allowed to have that. So, baby came at 12-12, um, and uh, is... Uh, Seven pounds, 12 ounces. So 12 is the baby's lucky number. The baby was born the day before my birthday, September 26th, which is crazy. I can't believe he's here. I have to tell you guys a story. It was the most painful delivery yet, but I'm gonna take care of him and uh, I can't believe it's a boy. I mean, I kind of knew it was a boy. I just had a feeling it was a boy, but just to know now is just so wild, so. Oh my gosh, I just can't believe he's here. He's so cute. He's so hungry. He's like wants to eat nonstop. Um, he just wants to eat nonstop since he was born. It's, um, let's see what time it is. It's 2.49 and he has wanted to eat nonstop. So my husband went down to go grab all the stuff and I'm ready to get comfortable because I'm just so tired, so tired. I really didn't think we were coming in today, like to have him uh, or have the baby. I didn't know it was him. Um, my husband told me the gender. We both cut the cord together. I wasn't allowed to film, just like no filming's allowed, but you guys probably heard the audio. Um, so anyway, it was very painful. I was in a lot of pain. I was like six, what was I? Five centimeters or so when uh, I came in and I was having such bad contractions I felt like I was going to die. Like I was so in so much pain and I didn't think I was gonna get the epidural. No one thought I was gonna get it. Like they were working quick, but still, even with them working quick, like I did not think I was gonna get it. And then it didn't work on one side. Ugh, I have to tell you guys all about it. But anyway, I'm taking this mask off. I'm gonna get him situated and get our stuff situated, but our baby boy's here. Our final addition to our little fam. I'm so excited. I'll show you guys him one more time. Little Easton. His head, his face is a little red from delivery. But I think he looks just like the other two. He's like a mix of both of them. It's so crazy. Easton Green. Little babe. He's just the cutest. He's the cutest little ham. He's been so alert since he was born too. But I think it's because I only had an epidural for like maybe maybe 30 minutes before he was born. So he's very alert compared to my other babies because I had an epidural for a lot longer with them. So cute. I love him. Ugh, newborns are so soft. So sweet. Look at him. He wants to eat again. He's been eating for hours. He's been eating for hours. He came right on his due date. 40 weeks little stinker i hope you guys enjoyed and i'm gonna try and film my 24 hours so i hope you enjoy don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet i'll catch you guys in the next one you said night